Hello YouTube, I'm back. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to be here talking to all you guys. Today I have a great call with a guy from Serbia. He is doing e-commerce, doing services, has questions about US companies. We talk about um, how his store got kicked out and blocked by, uh, well, I guess he got kicked out by uh, Shopify because of a copyright infringement. He doesn't really know much about, but I hadn't heard Sir, uh, Shopify doing that before. And we learned a little bit about Serbian taxes and how, um, how you know there's limits on how much money you can receive and how they'll start making you pay taxes right away so uh, it's a great video i'm sure you'll like it uh, let's get into it haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up i was running a store we had massive success like without paid advertisement organic stuff only and we got a seasoned disease letter um from who uh from i from shopify she's in the sit shopify kicked you out yeah uh, well they warned us uh they warned us we should uh stop selling the should to remove to be exact like quoting them to remove listings from our website web shop for and what what why uh i don't know they said it, it was um plague you i'm not sure of the phrase like it, it was um intellectual property of somebody else oh so someone someone else said that oh so it's i've seen that a lot in, in e-commerce especially in like drop shipping where yeah someone will say this is our product this is our advertising they have to stop yeah but but it was uh it was there it was it was Shopify, you know. It wasn't like if somebody else contacted us or something else. Like it was what? exactly, exactly. Shopify. they put they put a the other person put a complaint into Shopify who investigated yeah. it and then passed it to you. It's, I've seen it more with Facebook ads with people saying they're copying our ads and Facebook will block you out. But yeah, I guess Shopify can do it too, and that's a, a way for your competition to shut you down and steal your your ideas, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, we what were, were selling. What were you selling? Yeah. Yeah, we were selling um, we were selling some kind of vases, I guess. Vases, okay, like flower pots. Flower pots, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it was really good. We had margins like twenty dollars on it, like it was amazing, and the product sold itself. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I was devastated because all the income we had uh, because of the new uh, legal stuff here in Serbia. Um, uh, you, uh, I cannot receive any payments uh, without reporting them. Like I have to report all the payments, and you didn't have to do that. Like up to six months ago, like they, it was a new law here for freelancers and stuff, and and everybody that had any income that came from uh, outside of the country. Uh, you, know, you had you have now to report everything. So, so that's money coming into the Serbian banking system, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only so if you Serbia leave it in your LLC, system. if you leave it in your LLC, yeah. you don't have to do. Okay, so that's the yeah, idea: yeah. is leave as much as you can, but you probably yeah. sent a lot over. And to no, 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 I haven't done anything. Like I haven't uh, uh, because I knew that came. I started the store mid December, stuff like that. We had over, I don't know, maybe two point. 5k maybe 3k dollars in in revenue that's around one almost 2k in profit and i didn't do anything with that like in two months 2k profit no paid ads just testing the products like i was oh, nice. like wow oh i was like oh my god this is gonna be huge and everything i have made because i couldn't uh raise the money from the bank uh, i i put everything into uh promoting you know promotion like so, i have created let's... everything was everything was paid to influencers uh, i have shipped the items i have paid them in front i have di i did everything you know and like when the first influencer got the item he told me uh, what should i do next uh, <laughs> and the, like 5 minutes after i got a letter from shopify at legal <laughs> yeah oh, so man. so um 
So, so give me a little bit of background first. I know we just jumped into some things going on. You, you're from Serbia, and you have a, a do you have a U.S. Uh, LLC or a company or something in a bank account? No, like no, uh, I'm here. Yeah, I, I'm here. Uh, I wanted to ask you how can I? Well, not how can I set up an LLC. I, I wanted to see and investigate what would be the best for me because I don't only operate e-commerce. You know, like I, I have a team here that can provide from graphic design to website development to like implementation of some um well cool cool stuff to increase conversion like rate like to for products like 360 degrees um implementation of 360 degrees for, for products uh i have i have a few more services but it's not only e-commerce and i wanted to know uh, what would be the best type of llc to open there like and where to open it like i have a few questions but uh the, the I mean, main you, thing is you're just getting started. So and usually the LLC is the easiest way. I mean, you have the LLC or the corporation. Usually an LLC is the easiest way to get started. And you yeah. can you can run you can run all those services out of the same LLC to start. And as you start scaling and selling a lot more, then you can separate it and open another company and run it run two different businesses. Um, but I mean, but to start to keep costs down and everything, you can use one company to start. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's possible for me to like receive payments from. Uh, also, I want to from like um, Upwork freelancer and stuff like and stuff yeah, like, sure. like that. I can also use uh, the the let's say LLC's bank account to get the money from. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's uh, the bank. The banks like to know what you're doing and what kind of business you're doing. You have to present like. You kind of present one business to them, or you present one website when you apply to the, with the banks, um, so that they'll they'll work with you. You sh- if you have a service website with a contact page, and you have a, a like the best way to get uh, the bank to approve your your application to work with them is to have like a a, 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 a separate domain, uh, an email that matches the domain, and a website that advertises what you're doing at least a little bit, and then that's much easier to get the banks to approve uh, your accounts. Um, but then yes. you, after you have that open, you can receive payments for for doing Anything. e-commerce too. I mean, it's they usually wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah. So you would suggest for me to create a separate uh, email, like a, a separate website, all for me and my services, and I can use uh, that to open up a bank account, uh, open up an LLC, let's say like that, and just use that uh, as um, um, and just use. Uh, that account for receiving payments from Upwork freelancer for for my e-commerce other e-commerce stores for everything yeah yeah it's 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 okay for now um there's a lot of stuff to set up there's a lot of stuff to review i mean it's okay to start but as you start doing volume in e-commerce it's probably better to have a dedicated account that's only for e-commerce stuff uh, you, yeah. You'll probably need to, if you're doing drop shipping, you probably need to be able to send wires to China or wherever you're drop shipping from. That's how generally how it's done. Um, so it's better to have uh, like a Mercury account is probably the best one to have uh, for this purpose. But you'll have to show them probably your set up the account with your e-commerce um, business, like your front telling them you're doing e-commerce. So they'll like let you do the wires to China and stuff. Banks are weird. They change what they're doing all the time. Um, yeah. Just just having everything organized is is a good and presented well is is like the biggest part. I guess you could always send money to TransferWise and then wire it there, but those are all yeah. like things you can figure out later. Is it possible for me to create a Pioneer account on LLC or there or? Yeah, Pioneer's Pioneer is another. It's like PayPal. Yeah. I, I just I just heard this morning that Pioneer is going to be the like the provider. What, what eBay is going to use going forward instead of PayPal, which is, I find very interesting for, and it's good yeah. for pay. It's good for Payoneer and Payoneer users. It's kind of greatly increasing their, their power. Yeah. I, I have, I have a sourcing and logistics company in China. Like I have a team that I work with there and they, <clears throat> after I started with vases, vases, flower pots, uh, I, I have uh, developed, um, a really strong connection with them like I, I haven't made them since that closed and that was like a month ago 
uh, they are replying to me every day. Like it's a really, really strong connection. Even though I'm not making the money right now, uh, they are really interested in my marketing strategies that I have used. And even uh, I created with them, like uh, um, let's say, um, I, I will, I will outsource that. No. Uh, they will outsource my uh, website development and and the the other stuff I provide, like this 360 product. Oh, so, so they got they want to sell their their vases on their own, and they're gonna pay no, you. To no, sell no, it no. Uh, they they are gonna provide um, my services to their customers, like creating oh. websites and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, because because I have developed like a website in a few minutes and set up everything, and they were surprised by the speed and by the quality of it. And they asked, like, some of our clients asked us if we can create. Is it possible for us to to tell them, yes, we can, and we uh, just to give that service to you to do? And I was like, okay, not a problem at all. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> why great. Not? Are you going yes, to return so, to e-commerce? So what do you, uh, do you yeah, have Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I have I, another store created. You, like, it's in a pet niche. Okay. Um. I have just received uh, a videos and photos that the company that I work with have sent me. Like I've been, I've been, I'm not sure where is it. Like I, I, I because it, it's a product like, let's say like this and they have used, I have used my phone and just recorded videos like the shots that I want them to be taken off literally like this. And they have rec recreated it with 4K camera and just sent me there because I have to wait a month until the product came here so I can create ads and everything. So, so uh, what's what, why, if the base thing was working, uh, what's the cease and desist? Like, what company sent you that? Is would it make sense to set up um, e commerce on a different website? Like, the, the same, well, like I, the same, uh, the same product if you know it was working? Yeah, I wanted it to do, but I, I was af I am afraid of uh, just wasting time, you know, um, because uh, well, I'm sure the domain is blacklisted. Um, uh, I'm sure the domain is blacklisted, and it was a really catchy domain. It was the Lazy Plants. Um, uh, unfortunately, I don't think it, it's gonna. I think it's going to be a waste of time, you know, we're going to start up again, we're going to build some uh, trust, we're going to build some money into it just by doing the same thing as we did before. Uh, and I'm afraid we're going to do that again, you know, how, how I know. You, I'm sorry to cut you off. I want to keep, I wanted to cut you off and ask, um, how are you doing your payment processing though, um, to start? Um, I have, uh, I, yeah, we started like PayPal mainly, but um, the thing is, we uh, we have a friend in Netherlands, and he took all the payments, uh, and he just sent it after to to PayPal. Oh, yeah. so that's that. I now I remember your message. Just go back to my calendar, and I saw that. Yeah. Um, was yours? You said that your friend. You don't want your friend in Netherlands to have to pay taxes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the main thing. Like, um, because uh, um, when I uh, wanted to record, when I wanted to get in a call with you, uh, I wanted to. Um, uh, we were expecting really huge incomes, you know, and I didn't want them uh, to be go on his account, you know, because he would have to pay taxes like over. It's, it's kind of like. It's but I know, but it's like he's he's receiving the money and then he's expensing it out right away. It's not an ideal way to do it. I don't think he would have to pay taxes on it. Maybe he would, but I, but really he's not keeping any of the money. He's getting no economic benefit. It's not a sustainable long term solution, but yeah, it's it's a a creative one to, to for short term. Yeah, we we have to do it. Like uh, I was I was uh, hoping for just the opening an account in Delaware. A comp an LLC in Delaware because from the videos and from the guy that has already talked to you from Serbia, he told me, um, he told me, yeah, I can see you now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he told me uh, he used he used the um, company in Delaware. Uh, he opened up uh, and got an EIN e from Sina or uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. You got an EIN uh, in a Delaware company. 
Yeah, yeah. And he has set up here a consulting agency in Serbia and opened their LLC. And that's how the money uh, was transferred here. Nice. You know, because uh, here uh, you can pay. I'm not sure how, how would I say that in English. Um, it's... Um, you have to pay uh, the uh, you have to pay in every month a certain amount of money as a fix like it, it's a it's a amount that is fixed you know it, it's not uh, it's not based on your revenue or your income is just a minimum tax you have to pay in serbia uh, um, not for every uh, not for everything like as a consulting uh, agency not agency as a consulting uh, individual how do yeah. I say? Uh, say I, in, I should. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I have to pay like uh, two hundred fifty dollars or so every month, and I can go up to uh, sixty sixty thousand dollars almost uh, with just paying monthly. And no, that's no. based on money that comes in the country um, through bank transfers, I guess, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But does and the bank does the bank take the money automatically, or do you have to make the payment yourself? Um. Uh, well, you have to pay monthly 2050 and uh, on year you cannot go over sixty thousand uh, dollars in money received in money received yeah so you can't uh, but if you you can but you have to pay more taxes or you just yeah can't then you then you go into uh, here we say PDV uh, like VAT system no, no, it's not that it's, it's just an uh, additional tax. Yeah, yeah, you have to, then you're not uh, the individual uh, consulting agency, well, then you're not individual individual consultant, then you're, individ uh, then you're a consulting agency and you are not in the same system, like you then go and pay by the income, you know, you have to pay a huge amount. Oh, yuck. Okay, yeah, so, 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 the, to... so the moral of the story is in Serbia... So so I'm bulldozing you today. The moral of the story is Serbia you want to get paid 60,000 um USD equivalent of Serbian money or less or or you're paying more taxes. Yeah. So you leave the rest yeah. in your LLC. Leave the rest in your US accounts. Yeah, absolutely. Or just use uh I, from the videos you I have looked from you. Uh, I have seen that you can use that money as an expense here like I can pay hotel, I can pay uh I yeah, you don't pay. need to transfer. You can use your debit card if you yeah, have one. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, so I would like literally use the money. I would transfer the money I would need here in cash or or I would need to pay bills and stuff like that here. And the rest of it, what I could, like maybe a vacation, maybe like the goods that I have. Like if I'm running drop shipping and I will for, for this, this store that we are currently development i can pay ads i can use everything from the credit card that i have the llc on like from debit card i have from the llc bank yeah 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 okay um perfect so i think i think you understand a lot about what is going on from both sides you have to figure out again what you're going to be selling and stuff but do you have any other questions about like uh llc's bank accounts taxes how you should be operating because i think you you kind of get that the using a U.S. company and payment processor and bank account would be the ideal way to, to go going forward. Yeah. Yeah. The, the main question, the main questions were, let me just open up. I've, um, there, there's been a lot of time passed until I have yeah. done my researching. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I had to, I had a, a really busy time. I had to push all my calls and right now I have like, like four calls a day. They're all back to back. So it's more content's coming, but it's, uh, it's uh you know I'm a little behind on this some of this stuff. Yeah. So uh, a question like I've written down is uh, how to open an LLC. Would it be a single member or multi member? Uh, is there any differences? Either is fine for you. There's differences in how you do your annual reporting. There's differences in some of the legal documents. I mean, if you're doing business by yourself, you just open a single member LLC. It's more. It's more depends on if you have a partner and how you want to structure your operations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a partner, but he's here. We we have a really long term trust, so 
he doesn't mind if anything goes if everything goes on me. You so. can you can both be on the LLC then. There's no problem with that. Yeah. It's, a, it's just a little bit different how you have to do things, but it gives you some for some things it might give you more flexibility because you can you could give um, companies a W9 uh, and show that you're you're a US company because uh, but it's just really tricky with partnerships. So it's it could be better but it's a little more complicated in how you do the filing every year. That's all. Yeah, I and how much does the uh, how much average like the the opening company costs? It costs the same. I mean, if you do it all yourself and you go pay with the state, um, each state, you know, it's going to be a couple hundred dollars the actual fees to pay to open the LLC with the state. Like I would like to, to see either Delaware or Wyoming as I have seen like Wyoming is for Uh, Wyoming's fine. I use Wyoming more. Just use Wyoming. Delaware is good too. They're both the same thing. Wyoming is a little bit cheaper, and it seems to be, uh, it seems to work just exactly the same. It's just a legal entity. It doesn't really matter where it is, to be honest with you. Uh, for the most part, you can do New Mexico, Florida, Wyoming, Delaware, Nevada, whatever you want. But generally, Wyoming is the cheapest and the easiest, and um, I like Wyoming the most. Yeah, and about the taxes, like Delaware and Wyoming don't have taxes, right? Well, it doesn't matter because you're as an LLC, you you have um, it's passed through taxation anyways for every state. The tax issue is more of a corporate thing. If you had a corporation, yeah, it doesn't apply really to the LLCs because none of the states tax. Um, well, not none of the states, but the ones that I mentioned don't tax LLCs independently. They tax only corporations. Yeah, and do you know about um, Klemta.com? No, I'd love to check it out. What's Klemta? C-L-E-M-T-A dot com. Yeah, it's a company that opens up. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a million There's a million companies like this that'll just. Yeah, yeah. You can just pay to open a, a thing, yeah. Okay, do you have any suggestions that I can like a company that like that or just I never work with Klemta. I mean um I think it's a bit too much money. I'm not sure. Um I mean they're all about the same. I mean it's it depends what the uh what you're looking for. I mean for my company and structure Like they all, they literally all do the same thing. Oh, you can you could even go directly to the state and pay the minimum, pay a hundred and fifty dollars to open a Wyoming company. There's cheaper ways to open companies and get EINs and stuff, and there's more expensive ways too. I our services has a lot of these elements, but then we go you know we go way beyond. I mean, we do what these things do, and then like work with you one on one with a lot of stuff. So yeah. that's but we're obviously we're like it's much more expensive than like just opening a company because opening a company isn't. It's just like literally just like opening a company. But then yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. know how to use it. So Klemta would work. I mean, Inkfile, LegalZoom, Rocket Lawyer, they're all the same thing. They all just open companies for you. Yeah, this was just a suggestion. This was just a suggestion none, uh, that I have received uh, like from from the guy I was telling you about that has referred me, uh, well, referred you to me. So uh, that's why I'm asking Yeah, I don't have a I should have an affiliate link and I should set that up where I can like refer you to a company that I know is good and and like have an affiliate link or something or maybe give you something free if I refer to you or figure something out like that, but I don't have that set up yet. Yeah. Yeah, what about uh ITIN and EIN? Yeah, you have any company suggestions? Well, when when you pay a company like this, they'll do the the uh, the EIN form for you. They should um it takes like five months to do it there's no or no no not five months it's going to take like two months to get your ein number right now it's super slow uh we get those right away we have a, our own little process for doing that so that's a, a benefit of working with us uh, it's much faster uh and the itin isn't necessary for everyone but it's recommended for many yeah is it if my paypal freezes or so what would i need Yeah, you need the ITIN to for PayPal or for Stripe, depending on on that. I mean, we include it in our packages, but it's not it's not um, 
not everyone has one. I have, I have clients that have big businesses that are doing really well that don't have iTunes. So it's not absolutely necessary for everyone, but it, it is helpful for people, you know, and we include it with our, with our packages, with our clients. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me about mailing address or phone number? Yeah. I mean, those are just other things you have to figure out, you know, you have yeah. to have, you have to have those. I mean, you have to set up a mail service, um, probably get some kind of U.S. phone number. Yeah. And about sale taxes and VAT, setting up tax jar or... Yeah, tax jar is what I recommend. I do have an affiliate link for tax jar. Yeah. So you can definitely use that affiliate link. Um, I should get one for the mailing address services and also for phone numbers and stuff. I have I, I, I recommend Hushed app a lot. It works with the, most of the banks. Uh, I think it's called Hushed, Hushed Phones. Um, but that's it. But... I think I have, um, I know we started our, our call a little late, but uh, I have another person ready to go on the next call and I have them all back to back, like I said. Do you have any last questions before I, I go take on the, the next call or anything else? Um, are there any other forms that I have to fill in like uh, for the, the business model I was talking to you about, not only the e-commerce except for the uh, 5472? Um, so this year, okay, so, you know, you need to get your company, your EIN, your bank account, your payment processors, probably mailing address and a phone number just for business operations. Um, yeah. Then every year you have to file your 5472. If it's a single member LLC, if you bring your partner and you make it a multi-member LLC, you file form 1065, uh, 1065, 1065. And then um, something new coming in 2022 is uh, registering with FinCEN. And providing your um, probably your passport and showing which LLC you're the owner of, and that's a new FinCEN requirement that's um, that's coming up in 2021. They haven't or 2022. They haven't given us guidance yet, but stay on the channel and subscribe and stuff. And and once we know more information about that, I'll put out more videos about that. I've been swamped with uh, clients. I haven't had time to make as many good videos, but I'm going to be getting back into the research soon. And in, in May and June, it'll be a big uh, re video month. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping to see more videos from you because they uh, all the information I have and I know was from your channel. So it's so beneficial for Thanks for, for watching and now contributing to the channel and being a star on there yourself. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here. Okay, so I'm going to uh let's let's say in touch. Send me an email if you have any other questions and we'll uh we'll go from there. So does that sound fine? Thank you so much. Yeah, even oh. more than fine. Okay, Nicola, best of luck to you. Thanks for scheduling the call. It was great to meet you. You too. Bye-bye, okay. James. Bye. So I think that call went really well. Um, talking with, uh, what's his name? Nicola. Ni no, it was Nicola. So that was a great call with Nicola. He's a nice guy. He's doing e-commerce in Serbia. I learned a lot of stuff in this call. We learned that Serbia is starting to uh, crack down on money transfers in the country, it's starting to tax people more, and the LLC is more valuable than ever in Serbia. We learned that Shopify can close your account if someone complains about your product and that they'll they'll take you out. And I didn't, I haven't heard about Shopify doing that before. I think that's what I'm gonna title the video. And then we also learned that um, e-commerce and drop shipping is still alive, it's still thriving. People love doing services. There's a lot of options going on. and. There's always, uh, using a US company is always helpful. So, you know, I, I, sales tax is important. We talked about it, touched on everything. I think it's a good video. Let me know if you have any questions, comment below. I'm starting to do calls again. Thanks for waiting for me forever and uh, for me to finish my busy seasons and stuff. I'm back to doing calls. I'm gonna do some more informational videos. Schedule in the links below. Give me a thumbs up if you want to, I don't care. And uh, comment below, I'll try and answer. I'm getting back to it. I appreciate you being here watching the video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.